Um, today I'm going to be working with this beautiful white rose here and sending you all some healing free from the world of spirit. Um, white rose is a general healer. It's, um, it's a purification, um, gentle, it's an all round healer flower. Um, now did you know that you can actually use flowers for healing you can actually lay them on your body or somebody else's body um you can for healing you can enhance this with reiki or any type of spiritual healing you can also send the energy of flowers at a distance so you can work with the actual flower or a card or just the intention i wish to heal with the essence of a certain flower or flowers to help with all sorts of things um spiritual mental and physical so if you'd like to look at my playlist i've got lots and lots of videos of uh, examples where i've just set some healing distant healing to some nice pleasant music and some pleasant photos of flowers i've done that for you it shows you how combinations of two or three or four flowers can work together to um send healing to people it's beautiful and wonderful but today we're going to be working with this beautiful white rose so what i will do i will set the intention um, for myself to um, set healing to anybody watch that watches this video um, at any time in the future and you can watch it again and again you can download it um, for your personal use that's fine and um, please let me know in the comments um, how it's affecting you can you sense the energy of this beautiful white rose um, so yeah so let's get on with the healing uh, what i will do when i'm sensing the flowers i might might talk i might not i might sense um, what it's doing for all of us today because i'll be getting the healing as well so that's good isn't it so let's get started um so get yourself comfortable for about 15 minutes uh, put on some nice music if you want, light a candle, switch your phone off, get comfortable, um, no barking dogs hopefully, <laughs> and um, just enjoy this gift from the David Kingdom. I'll just say a few words about this rose. It's been sent here by the David Kingdom, the flower, the fairies, the angels, the plant spirits, the nature spirits. It's here to help with purifying our planet. It's here to simplify your life to help us become more gentle. And keeping hearing the word mankind. To 
care for each other, to heal for e heal each other. Because we all need to be more gentle and care for each other, humanity. So let's just enjoy the healing. I'm hearing that the prickly thorns are a way of protecting ourselves. Protecting ourselves for the onslaught from the onslaught of daily life, the hurts and the insults. Instead of biting back, arguing, we can turn this into a good thing. If we are fully protected and strong in ourselves, then we can cope with most of what is thrown at us on a daily basis. We need to find time regularly in the week to whatever our form of meditation might be, quietness, sitting with whatever form of our God, whatever we want to call our God, Mother Earth, Spirit, Nature, to restore and rejuvenate ourselves. If we're angry, upset, and can't heal ourselves, then we can't heal others. So the first and most important thing is to protect ourselves. This is the message of this white rose. The thorniness of the hips, rose hips, is protecting us from others. The white, the beautiful white cream colour is inviting others to our gentle placid nature, but there is also protection here. So invite others into your life and help heal them and be gentle with them but remember to protect yourself at the same time.
the rose is delicate like us but the parts of it are drooping it's perfect yet flawed at the same time like us it's waiting to it's tightly curled at the top it's waiting to blossom like you and me we need to heal ourselves I'm hearing I'm sensing that we're all a bit battered we need to get back to simplicity And then we can move further on and bloom and unfurl our petals like the true nature spirits we are. There's been a surge in energy, I feel. I hope you can all sense that. My hands are tingling and are feeling a bit hurting. I'm hearing that some of us are bruised. The spirit or Deva of this rose would like to say that if you mix the white cream with the pink of love, self-love, we get the perfect combination peace and self-love gentleness it's what needed at this time this is how the flowers work together
It's making me aware of its friend, the snowdrop, which is also delicate and white. First time, first time of spring, the first um, herald of spring. The rose blooms in the summer, full bloom in the full, fullness of summer. The snowdrop, also white and delicate, pokes its head out in the spring. It's important. That's like when we become reborn. The rose wanted me to make you aware of that. That how battered and bruised we are. That every year there's a chance to be reborn. To have our new personal spring. Of course, roses are quite easy to get hold of, even out of season. But we can always use a picture or oracle cards, printouts, or draw, even draw, if you're good at art, colouring in, colouring books, just meditate, heal, with whatever flower, to get its message for yourself, and how it can help you, what its message is to help you move forward in life. So this is good when the rose is out of season. I hope you enjoyed this. Namaste.